I am a member of Solid Waste Management Roundtable, SWMRT. SWMRT, established in 2009, is a collective of waste management practitioners working for a adoption of sustainable living practices by citizens and municipalities. We have been working on garbage segregation, composting, refuse, reduce, single-use disposables, sustainable menstruation. As part of this, even if you wake us up in the night and if we, like, let's say, had a nightmare, we would actually wake up and start saying, refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle. That's how deeply involved we are with this particular subject. To create awareness, we volunteers would travel from one corner of the city to another corner of the city, sometimes even beyond. Mr. Ramakanth NS is a 82 years young man, travels in BMTC bus from one place to another place and even flies to different places to talk about the garbage problem, what is that we can do and then use the uh, compost to you know create uh, you know a garden at your home. So SWMRT launched Swachagraha, the new age green revolution. The initiative was to promote compost your kitchen waste, grow your own vegetables using the compost and eat and be healthy. You also have the option of sharing the vegetables that you have grown. On a Sunday morning, we would wake up early in the morning and travel to a park, identified in a park, and set up our sustainable living stall, and then start inviting the morning walking crowd to come and listen to us. We called it Composting Sante, a sustainability fair, and invited the local politicians and civic officials to participate to lead by example. After doing this for a few years, we realized the most effective way is to set up a composting learning center permanently in a park. This will be our information, education, communication center demonstrating best waste management practices, encouraging citizens to act on climate change. Swachagraha Kalika Kendra is the place to demonstrate decentralized waste management solutions, educating citizens to learn, process, and avoid significant amount of waste going to the landfill. So we started looking for a park. Obviously, we wanted to set this up in a park. We had this experience of approaching local politicians just before their birthday. We would go to him, ask him, uh, you know, request him, can you please donate these composting solutions to citizens? We have this wonderful idea of a street level composters. Can you please donate, you know, money for that? Bominali constituency MLA, Mr. Satish Reddy, had earlier donated mesh composters to temples and home composting and lane composters on the street as well. In 2008, again, a few weeks before the birthday, we I think about eight of us actually went to him and requested him to identify a suitable park. It's not easy to find a park, you know, to do some of this kind of work. We also requested him to fund the civil structures, the uh, community composting solutions and design element. He agreed. Once the park was identified in HSR layout, Bengaluru, we had only 10 weeks to set this up. So we worked on a war footing to set up the Kalika Kendra. Our dream came true when it was inaugurated on 15th of December 2008. This is India's first composting learning center and this month we are celebrating the fourth anniversary and such a center is sustainable and scalable only when citizen volunteers work with the politician and civic officials. We all work together. So at the learning center, we have a home composting center. There is a community composting center and there is a community garden. There is a large scale vermicomposting center. And then now we have an addition. We use the cow dung to compost 500 kg of kitchen waste collected from 750 households. In the last four years, we have seen 8,000 plus visitors 
Though there was a dip in the visitors during the pandemic, post pandemic it has increased. We regularly conduct composting and gardening workshop. We conduct workshop on bioenzyme and natural cleaners. We run a volunteering day and we do a skilling program. So far we have successfully completed 66 workshops on sustainable living. We also have students from educational institutions. There is a booking in the weekend to come and see our Kalika Kendra. Corporate employees come to participate in various activities like harvesting compost, use the compost and mix it with soil to sow some seeds and saplings to grow chemical free vegetables and fruits. We have hosted staff from various urban local bodies, whether it is Ballari Municipal Corporation or people from China who had come before the pandemic or South Korea. They all have come and are inspired to start something similar in their city or country. We launched volunteering day about six months ago and it is the most popular activity among college students and corporate employees. Reason being, we make fun videos and very popular Instagram reels. I think whenever a person comes and speaks to me, first thing say, they say is, your video was good. Where did you see? I saw it on my WhatsApp status or I saw on Instagram or on Facebook. So we kind of popularize, we have become very filmy in capturing memories and moments and post it on social media. We also organize old cloth collection and also the e-waste collection that goes hand in hand with this initiative. We also actually create awareness on construction and demolition debris uh, collection. During this volunteering day, college students and corporate employees learn the traditional practice of making a coconut broom, cow dung cakes, prepare liquid fertilizers, harvest the compost and mix it with soil and create a raised bed and then sow some seeds and saplings. These programs help them to connect with nature and understand the importance of garbage segregation and maintain a litter-free neighborhood because they find lot of plastic in the compost that they are harvesting and that gives them a message that we should actually maintain a litter-free. We encourage creativity among volunteers to record fun videos and short videos to popularize sustainable living practices. Recent mandate from our civic agency made it compulsory for large communities to compost within their premises. This encouraged multiple apartment associations and housekeeping staff to visit and learn community composting. We discovered that there is a gap in this skill among the housekeeping staff and hence launched a waste management skill development program. There is also a belief or a feel that the job is not well respected, not even respected. We try to change that uh, feeling among the people who come to attend the training. We demonstrate both do-it-yourself composting solutions and vendor-based composting solutions we share the advantages and disadvantages along with tips and tricks to succeed. We encourage so active engagement across social media channels has helped popularize the Kalika Kendra and its programs and connect with all age groups, especially youth. Citizens can find us easily on Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. So we don't spare any social media channel. We are bombarding the messages everywhere. Our messaging has improved significantly and thousands of followers can relate to the programs and the videos. 
the steady increase in followers across globe and being tagged on their successful composting story motivates us to do even more. Also, our syllabus does not cover the in detail the best waste management practices and the learning center is the most suitable place for students to get hands on experience. We are hopeful one day these important topics are included in the curriculum. A proud moment for us was when a set of elected representatives and municipal uh, officials visited our Kalika Kendra from Siddhi Fate, which is about 100 kilometers from Hyderabad. They were so impressed that they went back to their MLA, told him about it and now we have a new Kalika Kendra in Siddhi Pet called Swacha Badi. Badi means school in Telugu and Swacha Badi means it's a solid waste management school. Based on the success of this Kalika Kendra, our Karnataka government has allocated funds to open one Swachagraha Kalika Kendra per district and we have 31 districts. The Directorate of Municipal Administration, which is the overseeing body of all the urban local bodies and SWMRT as knowledge partner are working together to help them set up this Kalika Kendra. Any civic agency can approach and engage SWMRT as a knowledge partner to set up similar centers in their identified park. We share a detailed project plan, DPR, and a BOQ, bill of quantities, and design elements that can fit into any size of the park because some of the parks can be half acre, it can be one, one acre, can be one and a half acre, so we have the design for that. To close the loop and take the compost back to soil, SWMRT launched Swachagraha Compost Connect and this campaign worked towards connecting urban compost producers like apartments and gated communities with farmers in and around Bangalore. Last four years, the learning center has educated many citizens to lead a sustainable life. We are amazed by the interest shown by civic bodies across the world. Now, the Kalika Kendra is not just should be there only in a park. It can be your own home. Our first Kalika Kendra was Vani Murthy, the founding member of SWMRT, her terrace. We used to call it a green temple. Later on, actually, I have put, I mean, I have established a Kalika Kendra at my home. There is Dr. Shanti Tumala, who is the brain, who is the person behind this Kalika Kendra, has at her home multiple composting solutions. So, it's not that we always actually need a park to set up a Kalika Kendra it can be actually set up at even at individual home. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all those solid waste management volunteers who have been part of this beautiful journey. Thank you.